August bank holiday everyone and we have come to Margate on the Kent coast to bring you our top tips for our favourite things to do on a day out at the beach. Ah, and perhaps you will get a bit of a brisk wind coming up when you take a walk along the prom because after all you are right next to the sea and there's more likelihood that you'll get a bit of a breeze but it does sort of uh, sweep through the hair doesn't it Paul? <laughs> Fish and chips you can't get anything more traditional than that at the seaside I might go for a battered sausage if they have one. That's my tradition. Okay, it's time to tuck in. So we are awaiting our battered sausage and chips and a cod for me. So I am extremely happy because I've got my battered sausage and chips. So I am extremely happy because I've got my battered sausage and chips. Look what I got! A nice piece of cod. Oh, this is gonna fill me right up. Amusement arcades. I think it's time that I tried my hand at the trusty old 2p machine Double dealing I don't know, do you? Twenty one. Ice cream. Now, do you fancy a poke? That's what we call a cone in Northern Ireland. Hi, can I have two large um, whippies? Yep, with flakes. No flakes. <laughs> Any sauces? No. Someone say ice cream? Mmm, now I do love a Mr. Whippy. Mmm. This tastes a little bit like Morelli's from Port Stewart. Does it? Mmm. Now, over here, if you get a flake in your cone, it's called a 99. Do they call that the same in New York? Paul? We don't have flakes. What? You, you don't get flakes and ice cream? That's not a thing. No. Well, we're not having one today because we are being good. <laughs> we just got the large ice cream instead. Large is... I think that that's not really that large, is it? <laughs> a 
avoiding sunburn. If like me, you need a little bit of extra protection, bring a cap or a hat or even a straw hat perhaps if you're looking to be really traditional and of course the sunscreen as well it's important you can get the sprays which are not as sticky as the creams and they offer just as much protection and so much easier to apply can i add something don't forget to put this on your face too I should be buying my rock. Each one for 60p and I bought five of them. All for yourself? No! They're for other people, wink. <laughs> Buckets and spades, fishing nets, and of course, rock. Some of the most important elements of a day out at the seaside. What are you doing, Marcus? Oh, I'm subscribing to our show. It's so easy to do. All you need to do is hit the subscribe button. So please do subscribe. Well, of course, there are some downsides to a day out at the seaside as well. And one of them is if you're caught short, you yes. might have to use one of these really usually smelly port -a -loos. Yucky. They should really call them port -a poos <laughs> There they are, gathering anywhere where there's food around, you'll find seagulls. They are the bane of every ice cream and fish and chip eater at the seaside. Down, bye bye. Bothering the seagulls again, are you, Paul? They're a protected species, you know. Now, now, don't be rude. You're scaring the poor thing. Thank you for watching our show today. Please continue to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you very much.
Well, the clock has called time on our bank holiday day out in Margate. And we hope that you have enjoyed the show. Don't we, Paul? Yes, it was lovely being out by the sea again. Well, we have one more episode of the summer left, so join us on Tuesday for a day out at the races.